video is probably going to be split into two parts. So anyway, um, when you probably get to this segment of the video, it's going to seem a little weird because I have a full margarita. Um, is because I extended the video so long from the first shot. It was 33 minutes and 10 seconds on the dot. <laughs> um, so this video, this is going to be the end of this video right here. Um, so we're going to run through this again because we thought we were still recording. And then I look up into my bathroom mirror, which is over here. That I use for these type of videos so I can see where I'm looking in the camera and stuff. Um, the screen was actually black, so we're gonna run through the end of. Again. Okay. Yeah, again. <laughs> God damn it. Um, this is YouTube. No one ever gets it right the first time, trust Never. me. This is why there's gonna be a blooper reel at the end of this one for your guys' entertainment. Um, we're gonna run through the last one, two, three, four, five questions we have left. Um, so the last question that we were on was, what were we currently playing? Um, and I finished out saying The Walking Dead by Telltale Games. I beat the game before, but it's such a story-driven game that it made me cry at the end. Um, I'm not going to give it any spoilers because I know a lot of people are still playing that game because it just became free, and it's amazing on the Xbox One. It looks even better. I would think about getting it. It's a good game. Even if you don't like The Walking Dead, I would still get it because the story... Well, I've seen you play it, and it actually looks like a lot of fun. It, it's a, it is a so, lot of fun. The only problem is the space on my Xbox One. Yeah, you gotta get that new... Uh, yeah, you gotta get some more memory on everything. Take a think one step at a time. Christmas. Christmas. Uh, <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Christmas is coming around the corner. Yes. Don't forget. It's mark that. Solid. I mean, there's already stuff out on Target for Christmas trees. Yes. Ornaments and lights and everything. That means when Christmas comes around, Valentine's Day stuff's gonna be out and it's just gonna be a fucking... Doesn't matter. I never gonna, have a Valentine yeah, anyway. It's just gonna be a fucking nightmare. Alright. What game so are you looking forward to? What game are you looking forward to? Definitely Black Ops 3. Yes. Solid. Yes, that is one of them. Um, that is one of them that I'm one looking One of them for you. That's the only game I'm looking forward to. The day it comes out, I'm going to be like, let's go. Oh, I think you should probably look forward to the rise of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. Because you did like the first one. I do got to finish it, though. Yes. And when you finish it, you're going to be fucking mind blown. I'm sure I will. Yeah, it, it <laughs> finishes out pretty strong. Um, but you'll like it. It's I, They're definitely adding a lot more to the new Tomb Raider than they did with this one. So you got to have a lot Sweet. more fun. A lot more tombs to go through. A lot more puzzles. Um... Games I'm looking forward to, and I say games because it's games, it's not just a game, but um, starting in like in order of when they start coming out, uh, Halo 5, uh, WWE 2K16, because I'm, I love the wrestling games I always have, Black Ops 3, because I've played every Call of Duty since like Modern, like, you know, since, like, Modern Warfare, I haven't been disappointed, I still think Modern Warfare 2 is the best Call of Duty, a lot of people say Modern Warfare 4... Um, this is the best Call of Duty of all time, because they transitioned from the World War II era to the modern era, mm. which is fine, but Modern Warfare 2, it was so fun, the multiplayer was so twisted. All the Call of Duty games are good except for Ghost. Oh, God, Ghost was horrible. Ghost was terrible. I've never, I, uh, never raged so hard in a Call of Duty game <laughs> until Ghost. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've done some raging in that game, and there's people that I played with can testify, like Nikki and Dan, but my God, did I hate Ghost. Ghost was awful. Was terrible. Such a waste of $60. You can skip Ghost. Like, Ghost is, like, non-canon for the storyline. It yeah. doesn't make any sense at all. <clears throat> and everything. Well, the storyline made sense, but the, the the multiplayer was so busted. It was yeah. so bad. Don't just Actually, no, don't even bother. I'm glad I never bought it. No. <laughs> God, you don't you can you don't even buy it just because you're like, oh, maybe I should do the campaign. Just don't buy it no, at all. I never did. Just don't, I don't plan on it That's one of those games where you just don't want to be paid. Maybe when it's, you know, 99 cents at a game so, shop, I might try it. But. Yeah. Da, da, da. Oh, uh, Fallout 4, which actually that's where it comes out after Battlefront, uh, the Star Wars Battlefront game, which is going to be awesome. Just play, they had the beta open in October, and the game is just glorious the graphics are just stunning it's breathtaking to be mm. like um on planet hoth and it's just all snow covered in ice and you can see like the at at when it pulls its like leg up the snow is coming off fantastic can't wait those and obviously rise of the tomb raider can't wait for that because i want to continue my laura croft capade of making her the tomb raider <laughs> exactly and, and whenever you know Tekken 7 wants to release a release date that right? would be 
fucking fantastic. Oh, uh, we better they better make a Tekken Tag three at this point after that too because definitely they owe us because this is getting ridiculous. Not a lot of fighting games around. Like Street Fighter Five got announced, but where's Tekken Seven? Nowhere. Whatever. <laughs> favorite movie. Oy vey. favorite movie. Now I know we ran through this once before, yeah, but I'm, for some reason I just had a brain fart again. <laughs> Um, I think if I were to pick up any movie right now and put it in and enjoy it, it would definitely be Fury 7. Yeah. Action packed, edge of your seat, thrills, fast Whoa. cars, sexy ladies. Doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> yay, yay. <laughs> yay, yay. <laughs> My favorite movie has to be Scarface. You've never seen Scarface. No, I've never seen Scarface. Which is, um, like I was telling you, the first run when we did this, we did the first <laughs> run, like I keep saying. Um, Scarface with Al Pacino is actually a remake. A lot of people don't know that. I never knew that. And yeah, you didn't know that. Um, the reason, um, being is because there was an original one. I forget what year it was made, but it was, I think it was in black and white. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But, um, the cool, like, fun fact about it is at the end of the newer one with Al Pacino, the guy who shoots him in the end and everything has glasses. And all this, so you can't really see, like, his face and, like, his eyes and everything. The reason being is because in the original, the guy that shot him didn't wear, like, glasses or anything. You can see who would look the actor's face and everything. And mm. people got so behind that story and so into, like, the original, like, Tony Montana that people actually, like, found where he lived and, like, went out and, like, beat the shit out of him. Like, beat Ouch. him up and everything. I don't remember if they beat him up and killed him or they just beat him up really bad. But... Damn. Scarface is just one of my favorite movies because it's just like a play. There's a beginning, there's a middle, there's the end. And it just, you can just, it's just like Tony rises up from being like a nobody. It's Shakespearean. It's very Shakespearean. It's like very Shakespearean. It's just like rise and die. It's just, wow. it's amazing. Romeo and Juliet in Scarface form. It's almost like a lot of Shakespeare's plays into uh, Scarface with like drugs and. Some, Talking about my balls and some Hamlet shit, gun, like guns and just you know Tony having a big thing of cocaine and just dipping his face in yes. and all that, you know, and all your favorite type fun. But that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Honestly, it just it's just so storied mm. and everything. So moving on. Speaking of stories, your favorite book. Well, you know I don't read a lot. No, you you know I don't a read a lot. Reader. Um, because my reading level is so low, but. I do have a favorite author, Julianne Peters. She's written um, oh, three or four <laughs> of my favorite <laughs> books that I own and reread occasionally. I'm actually rereading one now. It's called. Uh... Shit, what is it called? I just forgot. I do blank. Keeping You a Secret is one yeah. of hers. Rage is another one. The one I'm reading now is Pretend You Love Me. Yeah, I'll say something Pretend about You Love Me. me. Um, and the only reason I decided to pick that one up, um, currently is because it fits into what my life is like right now. The storyline. It's like my storyline right now. So, I feel like I'm within the book. Ah. Um. So that's always a good thing about a book. If you can connect to the character and you can put things into your own life. The main character it. in this book is me right now. <laughs> All right. Basically. It's I'll good. explain it to you later. But. All right. Um, my favorite book, which is actually pretty funny when, um... We did the first run. I had to go run into my room. Into his bedroom. To actually go find out what the hell the name of the book was. Because I have so many books. I read a lot. His room is 75% um, books. At one point, there was three books in my center console of my car. And I would go on the bus with a book, a different book each day. Um, there's some books I haven't even finished. So, my favorite book is Plague of the Dead by Z.A. Recht. Um, very unknown but well-known author in like the zombie writing community um his books to me should definitely been turned into a movie which i feel like a lot of people say um you say it about a lot about some books too um a lot of books i feel should be turned into a movie but at the same time i don't always like the movie or book to movie thing because they miss yeah. a lot of stuff sometimes movies you know based off books kind of ruin the book <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Totally. So, Everything. sometimes you don't want to push it. No, no, definitely. So, not every book needs to be a movie. Exactly. Okay? Harry Potter. Hollywood <laughs> directors make, like, eight ho like 
Harry Potter Harry movies. Harry Potter, Twilight. Oh, Let's keep God, going. I've seen every single God. Twilight. I had a girlfriend, that's why. I mean, Fuck Twilight. I never read the books. Never read the books. I've seen every movie because I had a girlfriend. And I saw half of the first one and I changed the channel. That's uh, that's what my ex done. wanted to do. She wanted to go see the, the Twilight thing. She wanted to finish. Uh, at that point, I was invested. My, you know, my eight dollars were already invested in this movie. I might as well finish it out, right? Fifty Shades of Grey though wasn't that bad. Yeah, except for the guy that played Christian Grey doesn't didn't even go to the premiere and everything. Yeah, he's an asshole. Yeah. Good movie, though. Yeah, he didn't even like the girl that played the other girl. No, they got into fights on set. Like, they hate each other. I guess he probably probably might have enjoyed whipping her, I guess. Probably. In, like, a really but, sadist way. But <laughs> that is my favorite book. Plague of the Dead. It's actually a three-part series called The Morning Star Strain by Z.A. Rex. I'll put that in the in editing. The I can I can put that, like, in the description or in the editing. Be like, I can put Z.A. Rex. Bam! Morning Star. Anywho, <laughs> love this, because we have a lot of favorites. We put a lot of, like, our favorite likings, and we did talk about some things we didn't like, um, like me spilling my drink, didn't like that, but <clears throat> what music or songs do you hate? Hello? Yeah, Adele's your song is definitely one of them, <laughs> because he's been annoying with me with it all day. I haven't been annoying with you all day, the radio Close station enough. has. Close enough. <laughs> Um, Adele's new song. Hello. Um, Justin Bieber's got some good music. He's got good songs. I don't like him as a person. They should deport him. No, as a person, but he's shit. He's got a few decent songs. Like his newest one. What? Which one? Pretty good. I can't remember the name of it the, right now. Is, is it the one that Kayleen? Yes, yeah, the one that Kayleen sends likes. Snapchat in. It's a decent where, song. Like, where are you now? Or um, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? It's a decent song, but him as a person. Couldn't I think I think the one, back to Canada. I think the one that says like it's like where are you now has a good catchy beat because it's like made by Skrillex and mm. Diplo or Diplo or whatever I don't know I don't I know don't how know. to say his name. Um, not a big Justin Bieber fan though. No, he pissed off my girl Ronda Rousey. <laughs> I hope that's the wrong. If you don't know anything about Ronda Rousey, you might potentially live on a rock. She's the baddest woman on the planet, USC women's champion, and she'll kill you. And Justin Bieber pissed her off by not um, having her. Uh, he didn't want to like take Sign a an no. He didn't want to take a picture oh, he with take his a little, si- with her little, little sister. sister. Yeah. And he was like, "I took a million pictures," and she was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "A million and then just walked off. And I was like, "Wow, that, 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 yeah. that's that's like that's dickish." I also hate country. <clears throat> yes, yes, you do. I really do hate country music. God, it's so fun. So when I say I like Taylor Swift, I mean pop Taylor Swift, not country Taylor Swift. Because Country Taylor Swift was just terrible. I'm so glad she decided to, you know, switch over to pop. You already know what song I hate. Yes, I do. Actually, there's a few. Oh, there's there's a lot. But I can think of one right now, but I would love to play. Because uh, I actually I, enjoy it. Uh, if you even it. think about playing it later, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deck you. I hate 23. 23 by, I hate by 23. Mike Will made it. Featuring Miley Cyrus and... With Khalifa? With Khalifa's on there. And I don't mind yes. his part of the song at all. I just hate Miley Cyrus. It's just Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. He hates Miley Cyrus. I enjoy her. Oh, I it's hate a it. It's Oh, God, she's awful. Oh. She's alright. It's like she's awful she in that song. It's just so annoying. You just hate the twang in her voice. No, because I like country. I just hate her. I just don't <laughs> like her. I just don't like that song. It's just so annoying. I love it. It was overplayed in like every bar I ever went to. And everything, and every girl's like, "Ah, oh my God, they're gonna do this." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm gonna piss now. I'm gonna break my seal and go close my tab and call it a night." <laughs> All because of one song. Oh yeah. What other song do I hate? Um, a lot of them. Huh. What other? Oh God. There's the oh, man. There's quite a few. Oh, oh, the other one I don't like. Oh, that. Nah, nah, honey, I'm good. I hate that song. It's one of my favorites. Oh, I hate it. I hate that song. No one play that around me, please. It's awful. <laughs> I've done it multiple oh, times. It's so annoying. I hate... I've done it multiple times. I suggest not doing it. <sighs> because he will give you a dead arm. Or dead leg. Whatever's closer. Um, <laughs> oh, God. What other song do I hate? Like there's another one. There's oh, 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 God. Have you heard that stupid song? I hate this song. Um, I wasn't expecting that. 
<laughs> it's like, oh, 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 I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god. You want to talk about songs we hate? Hot Like Bling. Fuck that song. I love Hot Like Bling. I hate that song. It's catchy. And we're trying to play Call of Duty, and I'm going in for a one shot kill headshot, and he's singing it over the mic with Daniel. And I'm like, I know when that You are just distracting my shot. Please shut up. It's and elevator I gotta music. Sh- I gotta show you the video for that. It's elevator music. I'll and put I the thing. I'll put it. the thing on mute. But mm-hmm. he dan- Drake dances so funny in that video. It's hilarious. <sighs> it's just. It's a catchy song. I'm sorry. Can't help it. It's not like 23. That song's like garbage. <laughs> okay, I, I, song is garbage. I know. I know personally that song is not really good. But I know when that hotline bling though. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey hey, just be happy. I'm not saying 21. Twenty one? Oh my god. <laughs> number one pet peeve. Twenty one. Exactly. <laughs> Twenty one. Your number one pet peeve. But besides oh. me. <laughs> um when I'm texting someone and I fill out like a whole paragraph and a half describing something and I get back one letter. Okay. Oh dear God, I hate anyone who, <laughs> anyone who has ever done that like, to me, even, I hate you. I have trust issues with the letter K. Even OK, like O-K-A-Y, is different than just K. Even K-K is different than just K. Exactly. I like, can't stand One is the loneliest K. number in the world, and so is the letter K, all right? And I also hate you do this, too. If I answer a question... Oh, I put... Hmm. And you put H-M-M-M dot 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 with a question Listen mark. mark. <laughs> what is this supposed to mean? I am asking you a question for an answer, not for a hmm with a question mark. I know, because I'm thinking... You know, I know, I've been, I'm, I'm trying. I'm so, trying. right back, I'm thinking, give me a minute. Not, hmm. Yeah, I, I probably, need an I answer. Do yes. All right. Please. <laughs> My number one pet peeve? Oh, man. I don't know. I get... I get annoyed. I've been pretty good lately. I don't get annoyed by a lot anymore. No. I think my number one pet peeve is just... God, I hate when just fucking people just treat you like crap for no reason. When, like, especially, like, people that, like, you've done things for. My God, did that just go off? That phone just vibrated off the wall. If that picks up on, the like, the tripod, I'm gonna be pissed. Um... I'm gonna be really pissed. I'm gonna be super pissed. I don't. What is it? What is it? Is it YouTube? YouTube. I can't. We're shooting a video for YouTube. YouTube, mind your own business. It's coming up later. God damn it! YouTube notification. You nosy bastard. (laughs) (laughs) I guess my number one pet peeve is the fact that that YouTube notification came on. I apologize. No, um, my number one pet peeve (laughs) has to be people who you just go out of your way. And you do a lot for a person, and then they come back, and, like, you want them to be there for you, and they're just like, nah, nah, honey, I'm oh, good, God. and everything. That's the only time I'll ever use that thing as, like, a meme so. and all that. Margarita. Um, but I'll never, ever do that to someone. Like, I am such a giving person, and a lot of people actually debate this, but you know me. I'm a very giving person. I give way too many chances to certain, like, some people yeah, and certain and people. Both. And, oh, I should not, you know, I'm just, I don't like when I need somebody and they're just, like, not there and not available. But and at least we have each other. Oh, that's so, so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is it. That is all the Q&A questions that we came up with and the couple, you know, the couple, literally the two that... Um, I got from people and all that. Um, thank you, Chris, and thank you, Lisa, for the questions. Um, thank you, everybody else who's been subscribing and watching and all that as well. I'm going to put Alex's link in the description so you can go to his channel and watch his videos and all that about his life. You have your stuff about your uh, transitioning and all that up on there, which is really cool. Mm. Um, yeah, you have the... He had the video. He has a video of when I used to live at a friend's house for a little bit, and that's hilarious. When we first got like selfie yes. sticks, because <laughs> we're like, we're gonna get into YouTube. We're gonna use these selfie sticks, and that was all, like an awful idea. I bought a trap. Best video on my channel. Oh, it's hilarious. It's amazing. It's hilarious. That everything. Um, Russell, please, please, please continue to like, watch, subscribe to my channel. 
Um, get your friends into this channel as well. Share it. Share it. I'm gonna I'm gonna share it all over Facebook. I'm gonna share it on the Instagram, the Twitter. Um, if I could share it on MySpace, I would. But Tumblr? no. Tumb I Tumblr. Don't, I don't. I don't really Tumblr a lot. Should I, I Tumblr? Tum I Tumblr a lot. I should Tumble. I I do Tumble. You Tumble. I Tumble. You Tumble right on you. <laughs> it's a song. Um, <laughs> um, please share this video with your friends and get all your friends to watch this and like it. There's gonna be a lot more videos coming. Um, I really took a break. All uh, that I had to deal with like a lot of like real life stuff, which I said in my other video when I did the Biggie Fun stuff. Um, I was going. I just I deal with a lot sometimes, and just lately I just been dealing with a lot. Real life happens over YouTube. Um, a lot of cool things are coming up for me. Um, my buddies who are on Grown Children, which I'll you know shout out to Grown Children, great YouTube. Friend of mine right there. Love them. That's my friend Matt D and his friends. Um, they are doing a... What the hell is it called? Oh, the Extra Life. They're doing Extra Life, which is a benefit for child... Like, children's hospitals and everything and all that. And our friend Frankie, who runs State Line Video Games. So if you live in Agawam, which is actually it's in Feeding Hills, go to State Line Video Games. Line. Look it up. Amazing prices on, th on all his games. He has retro games. He has all... Like, retro games, I mean, like, he has... The original ten Nintendo, the Sega, the SNES, and all that. He has the retro gaming, the new gut, and the new games that are coming out, and all that. Check him out. State Line Video Games, Frankie. We love you and everything, especially with all the weight loss stuff you did. Great job, buddy, and all that. Mr. Dimples. Mr. Dimples. Mr. Frankie. Mr. Dimples Bond. Love him. Um, Good guy. As well as, please go to his channel. Watch, like, subscribe, share. Alright, I cut out the last 30 seconds of the video, so we have to give a new ending. So we got past Mr. Dimples. What did we say afterward? I totally forgot. Um, sugar. Oh, follow Halloween Heartthrob. She does, like I was saying, she does a lot of unboxings, a lot of stuff with horror. And all these people who I got in there, they're all going to be in the description. His stuff's going to be in the description. I'm going to put myself in the description because I can, because it's my channel, I can do what I want. Grown Children is going to be in the description. Halloween Heartthrob, my friend the Goat Demon, is going to be in the description. Also, like I said, I'm going to put stuff to follow the State Line video games right in the description. And that's about it. So, that was the video. Uh, we had to go through this a couple times. Kind of sucks. But, more videos are going to come on the way. So, please like, subscribe, share with all your friends. And like these videos. Watch them. I love all the views. I see people watching even though I've been taking my time. Um, this video is probably going to come up soon. I'm probably going to edit this. I'm going to edit this video up soon, so no worries there. It's going to be up pretty soon. Also, see that beautiful person right there? Like, subscribe, like, subscribe, and share his stuff as well. And that's it. Have a great day. Say bye. Peace. Woo! Yeah, we did this shit. Um